right if we consider the sagging moment the slope of the bending moment or the sagging bending moment is will essentially decrease and that means the shape will be some kind of a thing like this where if here the slope is maximum that is equal to theta 1 and here the slope decreases to theta 2 here the slope decreases to theta 3 and at a point C or at a point where it x is equal to L by 2 essentially what happens is the shear force is equal to 0 now shear force is equal to 0 basically means that dm by dx is equal to 0 that is m will have its maximum value so at a point where x is equal to L by 2 I have the maximum value of the shear force and from this shear force diagram it's pretty easy to see that in case of transverse concentrated load we observe certain discontinuity that is the shear force diagram change at one point at, at suppose one point it changes magnitude from suppose p to uh, suppose uh, p by 2 let's say right so there is a steep change in the magnitude of the shear force but here what happens is that there is no such steep change in the magnitude of the shear force that is it's some sort of a continuous function and as such the bending moment will essentially be some kind of a continuous function at point C the bending moment diagram the slope of the bending moment diagram will essentially be equal to zero as if we draw a tangent at this point it will be parallel to this axis right now from C to B there is a negative value of the shear force right and this negative value it increases right so essentially what it means is that the decrease, the decrease in sagging moment will essentially increase, right? So essentially the decrease in sagging moment will essentially increase, right? So it will be like this. So if this is my negative slope at this point and this is defined suppose by theta 4, this will be greater than this theta 5, right? So this will be some kind of a parabolic function at, at x is equal to L by 2, if we put L by 2 here, it will be m is equal to m max which is equal to nothing but w l by 4 to l minus l by 2 that is l by 2 that is w l square by 8 so at this point m max will be equal to w l square by 8 so this is i think all for uniformly distributed loading system and i have made three inferences here number one if you have some kind of uniformly distributed load you get some kind of a straight line function of the shear force diagram right number two if I have a straight line function of the shear force diagram essentially the bending moment will be some kind of a parabolic function the number three observation that I made base was uh, when the shear force diagram if this was the shear force diagram its positive value decreased right and essentially it meant that it's the, the shear force positive value decreased so the slope of the bending moment diagram that is the positive slope of the bending moment diagram decreased up till this point and from here the negative value of the slope it increased so here the negative value increased of the slope of the bending moment diagram increased or the positive value of the slope of the bending moment diagram decreased right and uh, from here we can conclude that the bending moment diagram if it's some sort of a parabolic function it's a algebraically decreasing function algebraically decreasing function of x function with x that is if there is an increase in x obviously the shear uh, the, the, the sagging moment is going to be algebraically decreasing right that is the slope of the bending moment diagram will be algebraically decreasing right if I have this kind of a bending moment diagram and hence we can say that this is an algebraically decreasing function of x and this thing we will utilize and see in more details once we take up equation of an elastic line, right? We obviously, this, this is going to have certain deflections. This loading is going to produce certain deflections. And uh, once we can analyze this, uh, the, the deflection pattern given by the equation, given by an elastic line, and we can find the equation of that elastic line, we'll see this concept of algebraically decreasing function of x in greater detail. Thanks a lot for listening. Thank you.